I think Elder's approach of like the head, the heart, the hands, that's what kind of drew me closer to it too, because it's more holistic. It's not just uh, the experiential learning where you're in the classroom and you're learning. It's also like the reflective part and the sympathetic part. I felt like everything just was aligning because I knew this was a partnership school and it was like another opportunity to come back and actually teach here. You know what, like why not? Like they here is an opportunity and I would stay at 107th where, well, you know, I have already have a history already placed here. I already knew the, the staff, I already knew the students. Partnership was the only option for me because of that specific reason of feeling comfortable coming into work and asking for help because I knew I didn't have much experience in the classroom besides city year. So I wanted some place that was actually gonna give me um, helpful criticism and actually help me become the best teacher that I can possibly be. Putting everything into perspective, the practicality of like what it, be, what it means to be a teacher, being able to take my classes, but also like be in the classroom day one um, with my partner, my, like my co-teacher, I think that really helped me kind of visualize what a school year actually looks like from the beginning to the end. I think that year completely prepared me to like be where I'm at right now. How to get students to tell you what they're learning. The cognitive load is on them. All of that, I experienced it at Markham and I'm seeing it unfold here. Just being like a warm demander. If it wasn't for the residency program, I'd be just like dropped in like a cornfield and like left to like find my own way. I don't think I would have last, to be honest. I wouldn't last if it was, if I was just like given an emergency um, credential. My mentor just really shaped who I am now and like really helped me practice. Just like my teaching style, I feel like I've adopted a lot from Ms. Mejia as well, uh, which I'm also grateful for because I think she's an amazing science teacher um, and we can all learn something from Ms. Mejia. The fact that she was a veteran teacher, she has so many years of experience, just kind of picking out like little things here and there of, of like how she manages the class, like how does she like think on the spot when like things go wrong. I need to see like a practical example of what like classroom management looks like, classroom procedures look like. Being able to see her actually do those things and think, oh, this is how I want to do things in the classroom. I would say a struggle, but worth it challenging, very challenging, insightful, and transformative. Inspiring, challenging, transformative.